In the next 20 minutes before we wrap up, I want to talk to you about the power of fasting and prayer. What fasting and prayer releases in your life? What fasting and prayer releases in your life? Whenever you fast and pray, the first thing that happens is that you receive power to move the heart of kings. Whenever you fast and pray, you have released power to move the heart of kings. There are kings in every sphere of life. There are political kings. There are financial kings. There are kings that make the entertainment industry. There are kings in the arts and culture. There are kings that rule and dominate in sports world. There are kings. There are powerful men in the science and technology. There are powerful people who control the business world. Every sphere of influence in life, there are kings that control them. For instance, if you go to the market now and you say, I want to open a patent medicine store. There is an association that controls the patent medicine store. And there are kings. The people, the shakers and movers, movers of patent medicine store. You must register. And after registering, they will give you ID card. And then they will make you make some payments. If you don't see the orgas and settle them, you cannot open a patent medicine store. If you go to Umonya Limbiri and say you want to belong to Cement Sellers Association, Wood Sellers Association, there are kings and shakers of that particular part of business. You must settle them. So in everything, there are kings that control it. When you fast, you release the power to control the kings that controls. Somebody say amen. In Esther chapter number 5, I'm reading verses 2 and 3. And it was so when the king saw Esther, the queen, standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hands. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. 3. Then said the king unto her, What will thou, Queen Esther? What is thy request? It shall be even given thee to the half of the kingdom. Esther and Mordecai and the whole nation of Israel fasted for three days. The king has signed that he will kill all of them. But after their fasting and prayer, it is a taboo for anybody to appear before the king without being invited. But by the fasting and prayer, they release power. The power was in the air. So she went to meet the king. And the king said, you have touched my heart. Even if you want half of my kingdom, I will give it to you. What is it, Queen Esther? Praying and fasting releases the power that moves the heart of kings. Every king in your life, because you fasted these 40 days, go and meet them. Whatever you say, they will do for you in the name of Jesus. I don't like that way you are shouting your amen. amen. Number two, fasting makes impossible situations possible. Fasting makes impossible situations possible. You just fasted for 40 days. Every impossible situation in your life is going to become possible now. Amen. You are not shouting amen like people who have faith. Amen. Can your amen sound like thunder? The Bible said it, it's impossible for the law of media and or mid and persia to be reversed. Whenever the king signs any document, it is irrevocable. It is irreversible. Nobody has ever done it. If you do it, even you, the king yourself, you'll be dethroned. But when they fasted and prayed, they have signed that the whole of the Jews from Esther, the queen's wife, every one of them, they were going to be annihilated, murdered, and killed. 
But by the power of fasting and prayer, that thing that could not be done was done. The king canceled what he wrote. It was the first and the last that happened in that kingdom. When you fast and pray, you receive power to reverse the impossible situation. Every impossible situation, I stand as your father in the Lord and I reverse them now for you. Yeah. Lift your hand and scream. Every impossible situation yeah. in my life and family yeah. is turning around now. Yeah. Let me hear you shout it again. Every impossible situation yeah. in my life and family yeah. is turning around now. In Esther chapter 4 verse 16, he says, Go, gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. Then in chapter number 5, Verses 1 and 2, Esther 5, 1 and 2. Now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house over against the king's house. And the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house over against the gate of the house. Verse 2. And it was so when the king saw Esther, the queen standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. If I perish, I perish. What I'm going to do is not done before. But I know I have fasted. I will change the law. They have told you in your family nobody can finish investing. You will change the law this year. In your family, you have seen that nobody has been able to build a mansion. You will change the story this year. In your father's house, you find that nobody is a millionaire. You will become the millionaire this year. Oh, can somebody shout a believing amen? You have told that nobody has done wedding in your family. All the people that are married, all we are impregnated by their husband. But you will be number one that will wed honorably. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Whatever your father and your mother did not achieve, you will be the first to achieve it. Amen. The highest point of your parents will be your beginning point. Amen. If you shout amen, power is released to you. Amen. Those people that laughed at your family because of their inadequacies, the Lord will override them because of you. Amen. If you shout amen, it will happen in your life. Amen. Those that mocked your father's house, saying that nobody can be good in your family because of you, God will close their mouth with a testimony. Amen. If you shout amen, it will happen with your life. Amen. If you shout amen, the enemy will paralyze. Amen. If you shout amen, the enemy will frustrate him. Let your amen sound like thunder. Now you have fasted. The third thing that fasting will do for you is to release every delayed miracle. The Bible said that after that Mordecai exposed the plots that the king's butlers made to assassinate him. The law says that anybody that does a favor to the king must be blessed and he must be given a position in the government house. Mordecai did it. But instead of Mordecai to be promoted, Mordecai was demoted and met a gate man. A whole internationally acclaimed professor. He was made a gate man in the government house. That was the situation. All the good things he did, they turned it to be bad. Every good thing he did, nobody remembered it. They wrote him off. But after three days fasting, after the three days fasting, they fasted only for three days. But you fasted for 40 days. Everything that they said that Mordecai cannot become, 
when the fasting ended, the Bible said that the king could not sleep. He opened his chapter. Eh? Okomo di yeko sime Mordecaya. Ni awa for the ten years. Ebe beri ya. God men you boa. Every testimony in your life that have been delayed, the karusa pagata. Because you fasted, a kumala da 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 da, you will receive them this month. Yeah. Can your amen be a faithful amen? Yeah. Can you shout a believer's amen? Yeah. In Esther chapter number 6, from verse 1 to 3, on that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bigatna and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on the king Ahasuerus three. And the king said, What honor and dignity have been done to Mordecai for this? They said, None. Then the king self said unto him, There is nothing that has been done for him. His miracle has been delayed all this year. The next verse said, put the next verse, verse 4. And then the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was come into the outer court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang who? Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. Next verse. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Haman standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. 6. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Ay, 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 ay. Shupalaga. Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom will the king delight to honor more than to myself? Seven. And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighted to honor? Let the royal apparel be brought on with the king. You said, or to where? And the horse that the king rided upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head, mm -hmm. and let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's uh, most noble princess, that they may array the man with whom the king delighted to honor, and bring him on what horseback through the what streets of the city. And proclaim before him, thus shall it be done to the man whom the king. Aha, uh -huh, now see it, the next verse. Then the king said to Haman, Make haste and take the apple and horse as thou hast said, and do even so to more. Ah! Because you fasted. Any man pointing accusing finger at you, let the hand wither. Any man plotting your downfall shall become your stepping stone. Any man conspiring against you will die your death. He that ticket a pit shall fall into it. And he that breaketh the hedge, the serpent shall bow. Somebody shout a louder amen. amen. The testimony of Mordecai was released after fasting. They are supposed to have done this 10 years ago. But they sat on it. Haman used time and sat on the testimony of Mordecai. But after fasting, time expired. Every time they are using against your children, I hear Baba speaking tongues. Say after me, every time they are using against my destiny helpers, expire. Stand up and pray that prayer in the next three seconds. Can I hear somebody pray in the house? Every time they are using against my destiny helpers against my children against my beloved ones aspire 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 
expire expire somebody pray somebody pray in the name of Jesus 